Why do veterinarians pull so many teeth? I'm the DIY vet, and we're going to talk about that. This information is no substitute for in-person veterinary care. You've probably heard a story that goes something like this. I had my dog or my cat to the vet to have their teeth cleaned. And when I got them back, they had had all of their teeth extracted, or most of them. And this was a big surprise, and I was really frustrated, and it cost a lot of money, and it brings up some very important questions. For one, why didn't the vet warn me about maybe needing to have most or all of my pet's teeth extracted? Number two, my pet probably can't eat now that they have no teeth. What are we going to do about that? Number three, did my vet pull all of my animal's teeth for the money so they could make more money from me? These are important questions, so we're going to talk about those one by one. Number one, why didn't my vet warn me about maybe needing all of my pet's teeth extracted? Sometimes we can look at teeth and say, okay, these are really, really bad and we're probably going to need extractions, but sometimes the teeth don't look so bad from the surface. When we don't have dental x-rays, we are missing two-thirds of each tooth. From here to here is what's visible above the surface. From here all the way up to there is hidden by the gums. And embedded in the jaw. We, we don't know what it's going to look like under the surface until we get those x-rays and we don't get the x-rays until your pet's under anesthesia. Question number two. My pet probably can't eat without any teeth. What are we going to do about that? Well the fact is that most dogs and most cats are perfectly capable of eating even hard food without any teeth. I've worked with many pets that have had all of their teeth extracted and they're perfectly capable of eating hard food. The other part of this is that dental disease is very painful. The fact is that if a tooth is bad enough to be extracted, often they weren't using it much to eat with anyway. You know, like if your tooth hurts, you try to chew on the other side of your mouth. Pets will adapt like that because eating is very important. And so they just adapt and they keep eating and, and you know, doing what they can to get food down. Question number three. Did my vet pull all those teeth just so they could make more money on my pet's dental procedure? First, I need to acknowledge that extractions and dental procedures do add up in cost. And I know that they're pretty expensive, uh, especially where a lot of people don't have insurance for their pets. Be assured, that at least for most of us in the profession, we have a good reason for every extraction that we perform. The reason that a lot of teeth need to be extracted is because they have abscesses in their roots. Basically, the surface infection of the tooth extends down around the roots and then causes there to be an abscess or, or a pocketed infection. Extracting teeth with healthy roots is really, really hard. Sometimes we have a crown fracture or another condition that says we need to take this tooth out and the roots are okay. It's a very difficult process and it's not worth the, not worth the time to, to make up a need for an extraction just to go through that extra work and pull a tooth and, and charge you some extra money. There's plenty of other work that I can do and plenty of other work that I'd rather do than, than pull healthy teeth. If you really really want to keep all of your pet's teeth or as many of them as possible uh, and look into root canals then I would start out with the veterinary dental specialists and they're they're well equipped and well trained to be able to handle that and if there's any way to keep the tooth then then they'll know what it is. Keep in mind though that extraction is going to be the only way to treat some teeth. If your pet's teeth are okay then you can do some preventative things at home. If you're going to do some teeth brushing at home you need to keep one very important thing in mind which is that you need to get a toothpaste that is made for dogs or cats. A lot of human toothpastes will have xylitol or other synthetic sugars. The issue is that animals are very sensitive to xylitol and it can actually confuse their metabolic system and cause them to go into a diabetic coma and, and can cause death. There's other things out there. There's dental chews. You can use those. Keep in mind that most of them have a high fat content and so if your pet has a weight problem this is only going to add to that if you're giving them a couple of greenies a day. Well that's my answers to those questions. If you have other questions about dental procedures or anything else with your pets, something you might be able to try at home, go ahead and leave a question in the comments. You might even get your question featured in a video.